Well, for me, it began back in 2003 when Duncan Fernley, whom I used to watch at New Road Worcester in the 1960s, he brought Mark, Nicholas and myself together and he put the same question to us both. What should the Cricket Foundation be doing to support the future of cricket? And we met at a little pub in North London and amazingly, Mark and I, who'd never met before, came up with the same answer, which is to try to regenerate cricket in state schools. Chance to Shine was born. And we launched our pilot scheme with 72 schools and four and a half thousand children in the summer of 2005. We timed it to coincide with the Ashes series. Then four and a half thousand children sounded an awful lot, and it was a lot in terms of what previous programs had done. Now we've managed to reach the two million figure, which was our target. We wanted to raise 50 million pounds over 10 years and take two million children through the program, and we've done it. Well, I believe we could do it, but nevertheless, it was inspirational to see it being achieved. And that's down to the team at Chance to Shine, led by Wazim Khan, but every member of the team plays a key part in it, and it's been immensely successful. And what they've shown is that if you have the right vision, you have the right organization, you've got the right people, and you've got the money behind it, then you can achieve whatever you want.